Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the installation part of MySQL ODBC connector. Okay, so why we have to install MySQL ODBC connector? So if you are able to see this diagram, what we want to do in this video is we want to store our shop flow data from cap server to MySQL database. Okay. From the shop floor, we will get data in our cap server and from the cap server, we want to log those data into MySQL database. So to log those data into MySQL database, we require MySQL ODBC connector. So that is why we have installed that in our previous video. Now in this video, we will focus on how to log data from cap server to MySQL database. Okay. To log the data from cap server to MySQL database, we first have to create data source name. Okay. So we call it in short DSN. So to create a DSN, we have to go to ODBC. Okay. If you type ODBC in the start menu, it will guide you to this app ODBC data source 32 bit. We will open this one. We will go to system DSN. Here we will add one data source. Okay. So we have to click on add here and then just scroll down and find the MySQL ODBC Unicode driver. So we are going to use this Unicode driver. Okay. So click on finish. Then after it will ask you for data source name. Okay. DSN. So it will be used for cap server. So let me put cap. And then after port number is 3306 for MySQL database, which is general. So you don't have to change this. Then after TCP IP server. So here you have to put the IP address of your MySQL database. So you can see I have installed MySQL workbench in my system and here are my five databases is running. So I have to provide the IP address of MySQL server. Okay. So MySQL server is running in my local host. So I'm going to put 127.0.0.1. Okay. And then after user. So when you are connecting to this database, it will ask you for username and password. So let me close this MySQL workbench. And if I open this MySQL workbench, okay, you can see local instance of MySQL. So if I double click on it, then you can see here local instance. Okay, so localhost column 3306. So this is the IP address and this is the port number. Okay, so here is the username root and here you have to provide the password to open your database. So as you can see, I have opened the same database. So you have to provide IP address here, same IP address, and you have to provide the ID of your user. It will be root and the password will be tour. Okay. In my case, now here you can click on drop down and you will find the number of database available to connect. So as you can see here, I have number of database available. Now I want to create my table and I want to log the data in this test database, test underscore DB. Okay. So we have to click on test underscore DB and we have to select it. And then after we can press test button to check the connection between our data source, which we are creating and our MySQL database. So we will press OK here and then again we will press OK. So we have created our MySQL ODBC data source. Now we are able to perform the log operation from cap server to MySQL database. So let me go to cap server. Here we will add log group. Okay. It's a log group one. So leave it as it is. And then after we have to enable this log group and I want to update the log group every thousand millisecond. So I'll be changing the update rate here. And then after we have to select the data source name DSN. So if you click on this three dot, it will give you one pop up and you can find the available data source here. Okay. And if you want to configure data source, then you can also configure by clicking on this button, configure DSN, and it will lead you the same pop up. You can go to system DSN and you can create one more data source here, but we already have created it. So we don't have to create this one now. Okay. We can select it and we can press OK. Then after again, we have to provide the ID password of our database. So it will be root and tour and we will. Yes. Now we have to select the table. 
so which kind of table selection you want you want to log in some existing table or you want to create a new table every time the log group is started or you want to create a new table once and always append to this table so what we want to do is we will create a new table and whenever our log group will start we will only append the data in that table only okay so we will select this third option then after table name so cap server ser test database and which will be a narrow type okay because we are going to select the table format narrow in this video we also covered the wide format so each item shares a column mapping so we will see how this table is going to create so it's our table name and when we press ok here ok and we can go to our mysql workbench you can see cap server has created one table ok so once you create a lock group it will automatically create one table for us in the database now what we have to do we just have to disable this lock group first and then after we have to add log item so which tag you want to log okay so log item one and item id will be we can select our tag which we want to log so you can click on this three dot you can scroll down you can go to simulation example and i can choose random one okay apply and then okay so you can see here numeric item id zero data type short and this is the tag name which we are going to use okay and if i press okay it will be available here as a log item one now i want to add a log item second so it's a log item two and here we have to select the item so here we have to select our second tag so i'll click on this three dot and then i'll choose sign and then i'll apply and then i'll press ok it's our numeric id one data type float okay and then i'll press ok so here we have a two tag random one and sign one then after we have to go to trigger we will double click on this one and it will be a trigger type always trigger okay so it will automatically log the data in that table okay here we have total three options time based trigger or condition based trigger so if you have any condition that when my tag is in on state i want to log the data or if my tag goes in bad quality or something like that then i want to log the data so you can create your condition based logging here but for me it's always trigger and uh, yeah log on the static interval yes and the static in interval will be 5000 millisecond so it will be my each five second it will store the data into my database okay mm. and log on the data change so whenever my data will be changed it will automatic automatically log into the database so we will create okay and then we will go to column mapping here i guess you don't have to do anything okay we will leave it as it is and uh, then we will enable the log group then we will okay runtime is already connect and you can see log group log group one is connected to dsn cap and it is logging the data so let me go to mysql database here and here is our table we will right click and we will select top 200 rows mm, okay okay so you can see here our cap server is logging the data so you can see the uh, tag name here and numeric id here and the value and the timestamp so it will logging the value at every value change okay and the quality is 192 it is good condition so this is how we can log our data from cap server to mysql database okay so what we have done is we have create one dsn in our system we have used that dsn in cap server and then after we have log our data from cap server to mysql database either your data can be from shop floor or it can be a random values both are same because you have option here if i stop the logging group okay if i uh, add new log item then here you have an option that you can select your tag here okay so all of your 
connection either opc connection mode bus connection plc connection all of the tag will be appear here you can select your tag so there is no issue while selecting tag but there is um, thing to take care okay let me, let me cancel but here is a thing to take care while creating a log group with dsn username and password and all okay and here is the narrow table format okay so narrow table format is look like this we have this four uh, sorry we have this columns one is for tag name one is for numeric id of that tag one is for value and one is for timestamp and one is for quality okay now we will see how we can uh, store our data in the wide format so we will again go to cap server we will cancel this one we will create a new log group log group 2 uh, we will change update rate to 1000 millisecond and uh, here we have to select our dsn so it's a cap password is root and 2 okay t double o r and log to a new table so we'll create a new table once and always log into those table now table name so what was the table name of the first one cap server test db narrow so cap server ser test db wide okay and instead of the narrow one we will use the wide one each item gets its own column mapping okay so this is the different kind of table format so we will press ok here we will add multiple logs item here so we will scroll down functions random one and sign one we will apply okay so both items are here now we will go to trigger uh, we will set always trigger login condition 5000 millisecond and login on data change yes mm, all done we will press ok and then we will start our second log group okay so you can see log group log group 2 is connected to dsn and it's logging data so if i refresh here you can see one more table now let me select top 200 row for this table and you can see we have got one column for this numeric id okay i guess we have got two column for this numeric id so sign one has one column simulation uh, random one has one column and then after value of random one and then after timestamp of random one tag then after quality of random one tag then after numeric id of sign tag okay and then after value of sign tag and then after timestamp of data logging and then after quality so this is the wide format of table and this one is the narrow format of table so based on your requirement you can create this two kind of table from the cap server okay either you can create a wide type of format or you can create a narrow type table format so this both option is available to you in the cap server so i hope this is clear that how you can log your data from cap server to mysql database and we have already covered narrow and wide type of table that how we can create it from cap server okay so you can enable both the logging group okay and you will also see in the logs that log group one is connected and it's logging at data so both are logging the data so this is how you can create multiple log groups and you can also create uh, different different table format from cap server and you can see your data and you can use your data in analysis purpose or any other purpose so i hope everything is clear to you and if you don't know how to install the mysql odbc connection then you can see the previous video and if you want to know that how we can log data in ms sql then also we have a video i'll provide the link in the description of this video so we will see you in the next video till then Take care, goodbye and thank you.